let's talk about Cookie Clicker. A game that was originally made in 2013, but is somehow still one of the most played idle games in the world. So let me show you how easy it is to make this game in GDevelop. To begin with, I have four objects. A text object to show you how many cookies you have, the cookie image, a custom button object behind it, and another custom button object to use for the upgrades. You get the custom button object by going to the asset store and finding the menu buttons pack. Pick one of the buttons and add it to your scene, and then change out the images to be whatever you want them to be. And then we have four scene variables. Cookies, of course, which is a number variable set to zero. And then we have this one called upgrade one, set to a structure, and we gave it three child variables. Cost, number bot, and timer. Because basically all of the upgrades that you buy in Cookie Clicker work off of these three variables. You need to know how much it costs, how many you've bought, and what time to trigger them. Most Clicker games will have other mechanics built on top of that, but at their core, that's how most of them work. When you buy an upgrade, you subtract the cost from how much you have in the bank, and then use the total number you've bought to adjust the timer, to increase how much you get per second. So let's look at the events. The first event is to hide the big button at the beginning of scene, and then the next one is just for that fancy scrolling background. Then we have the clicking event, where if the button is clicked, we'll shake the object using the shake object extension, and then change that cookie variable by adding one to it. And then to display the variable, we modify the text of the text object, and set it to the text of the scene variable called cookies, plus, in quotations, the word cookies. And that way you'll get the number and the word. And now we'll open the group for upgrade one. And you'll see that if we click on the upgrade and the cookie variable is greater than or equal to the cost, then we'll trigger the actions to subtract that cost value from the cookie total. So we've spent cookies to get the upgrade. And then we change the number bot value of that upgrade by adding one to it. And then for the timer, we'll change that variable by setting it to one for one second divided by the number we've bought. So if we only buy one, the timer will be one second. And if we buy two, it'll be 0.5 seconds. And if we buy three, it'll be 0.33333333 seconds, and so on. And then we change the upgrade cost, because in all of these games, each time you buy an upgrade, it increases the cost for the next time you do it. So we change the variable cost by setting it to what the upgrade variable currently is times 1.2. So we increase it by 20%. And then you'll want to use the round expression to make it a nice whole number. And then this is for the label of the button. So looking at the button, all we want to change is the cost and the total cookies per second. So we have idle upgrade number one and cost in quotations, plus the text of the cost variable, plus again in quotations, cookies per second plus 0.1 and total cookies per second, plus again, the text value of the number bot times 0.1, because for this upgrade, every additional upgrade gives you 0.1 cookies per second. And then I'm using round two, the second decimal point, so that it's displayed as a rounded number. And then finally, to earn those cookies on a timer, we need these two events. The first one being that if the number bot is greater than zero, start the timer called upgrade one. And then the next one is that if the timer upgrade one is greater than the timer variable that we changed earlier, then we add 0.1 to the cookie total, and then reset the timer so it starts over. And this is what that all looks like. I can click on the cookies to give me one cookie per click, and then once I can afford the upgrade, I can buy it, and then I'll start earning one cookie every 10 seconds. And if I keep doing that, it will increase the cost and the total cookies per second. And that's the basic way these games work. So once you've got one upgrade set up, you can duplicate your button, add it into the scene, and then copy and paste your upgrade variable and change it to two, so you'll have two sets of variables, and then copy and paste your event group and change all of the ones to twos to get a second set of upgrades. And then you can keep repeating that until you have enough upgrades to fill an entire game. So those are the basics for how passive upgrades work in clicker games. But a lot of clicker games rely heavily on game juice because you really need the button to be a fun thing to press. So if you want to learn about game juice or game feel, check out this video.